hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel divine goddess enlightenment i'm ashley and um it is monday and i have something new that we're gonna do every monday um it's called motivational mondays i created this deck uh, where it has like motivational inspirational quotes and like self-care self-love advice and tips that um spirit uh that you need to know like it, it gives inspiration motivation um you guys may be working on a project working on some goals and this deck is just here to give you that extra push to push you in that direction give you that motivation and inspiration so i am so excited to be getting into that we're just gonna hop right into it you guys i hope everyone is uh doing great i'm having a fabulous start of the week i hope you guys are as well speaking of motivation this is the unpolished diamond you can find it on amazon candle it's uh palms about my struggles my adversity challenges about all my hardships uh my storm basically me coming through out of a storm and into my breakthrough okay everything you need to know about me is in the description let's jump right into it you guys Okay, so yes, I really hope you guys have been doing great. We're going to do it this way. I'm just going to shuffle them a little bit. Shuffle them like this because it's going to be hard to uh, invest in your money. Somebody needs to uh, hear that. Somebody needs to uh, invest in some stocks. Uh, real estate makes some passive income that just popped out I don't know who was who that was for but yeah so every Monday you guys this is the deck right here that I'm shuffling we're gonna uh, uh, get into some motivational inspirational self-love self-care tips from the deck and it's gonna be for uh, whatever pops out whatever resonates it's gonna all these should resonate though all of these, I feel like it's going to resonate with uh, you guys at, uh, at some type of level. So, I'm excited. Every Monday, we're, I'm going to do this. We're going to do this. Then at the end, we're going to get the, like, the final message. And then I also have, uh, at the end, we're also going to get give you guys a chakra wisdom card to see what uh, chakra spirit needs you to work on and pay attention to maybe uh you know you need to open it's a chakra you need to activate so bear with me y'all i'm just gonna shuffle i'm shuffling really quickly i don't know what that was okay Okay, Spirit, give me some motivational messages for the collective. What's the uh, messages? What's the message? Okay. <clears throat> if they said it, they meant it. Yeah, so um, somebody could have said something to you hurtful. Somebody uh, could have tried to downplay you or your success. I just heard somebody probably could have tried to make you feel small and significant. And spirit is saying, with whatever these people say to you, whatever they said, they meant that shit. Don't let nobody try to, um, oh, I didn't mean it that way. Yes, the fuck they did. People have that bad. People have that bad. If, if they didn't mean it, they would never said it. Yo, you, you will know. Your soul will know uh, if they meant it or not. But no, nine times out of ten, if they said it, they meant it. Period. Okay, spirit. What's the message? What's the message? What's the message, spirit? Ooh. This is a big day. <laughs> What's the message, Spirit? Thank you. Plan your week. Okay, yeah. So, uh, some of you guys may be entrepreneurs. You may have a, a, a busy life. You may have a career. 
uh, you may be a teacher. I, I just heard teacher. Uh, you may be an author. You may be a spiritual leader. Spirit is saying, um, plan your week out. Take, uh, get you a notebook and designate that notebook for your to-do list. Every day, uh, every morning when you wake up or every night before you go to sleep, write in your to-do list everything, the tasks and priorities that need to be done. Plan your week. Put your priorities first. Take the first steps. The, uh, build those first steps into accomplishing your goals. Okay? Okay, spirit, give me some more messages for the collective. Oh, whoa, that was a lot. Spirits, we're going to take, I'm just going to take the top one because those were a lot. I will not dim my light to make you comfortable. Yeah, spirit is saying, oh, okay, don't. Don't damn your light for nobody. You shine bright, shine your light and shine that motherfucker brightly. Do not damn your light for nobody. Don't dumb yourself down for nobody. Be who you authentically are. Don't let nobody make you feel bad because of how you dress, how you pronunciate, how intelligent you are, how... Uh, how you use your words, how you shine brightly, how you might have a big personality. Uh, don't and people when you're unique and different, and you really love yourself, and you uh, and you cater to the authentic your authentic self. Pe people that's not true to their self, they'll look at that as oh, you she thinks she all that, she thinks she this, she thinks she that. If, if that's what they want to think, let them think that. But you, spirit is saying, don't damn your light if they uh, to make them feel comfortable. If they want to feel uncomfortable because of you shining brightly, oh well. Be who you authentically, truly are. And if can't nobody, if they can't accept that, oh well. What's at the bottom? You're a warrior, yeah. So it could have been some things, some challenges that you've been through in your life. You could have uh, lost some friends. You could have lost a job. You could have lost your home. You could have lost your car. You could have been in situations where you ain't know where your next meal was coming from. But you, you came over that shit. You're a warrior. You came, you came up out of that with the strength. Spirit gave you the strength. You found your inner strength, your inner warrior. It's always been within you. Okay, Spirit, give me some more messages for the collective. That's too many. What's the message, Spirit? What's the message? We gonna take the ones level up. We gonna take the ones that flipped over though. <clears throat> Stay committed. Yes. Yeah, so spirit is saying, no matter what, uh, no matter what you're facing at this moment, no matter motherfuckers may be talking shit about you, people may not believe in you and your vision. Spirit is saying, despite. What, what is going on, stay committed to your goals. Stay committed to yourself, to your children, to your family. Stay committed to what, to your vision, to your priorities, to your relationship with the Most High. Stay committed. Because you are a star seed. I'm talking to a star seed here. Someone that was, uh, that reincarnated here, uh, also that reincarnated here to uh, help raise the frequency of humanity. A star seed is someone like myself. So I'm talking to a star seed. That's why Spirit said, don't dim your light for nobody. You're a star seed. You're supposed to shine. You're supposed to shine brightly. Okay? Let's get a few more. Let's get a few more messages, Spirit. <laughs> What's the message, Spirit? What's the, what's the message, Spirit? Okay, we got two more. What's that? We gonna see what's at the bottom, too. Okay. Ground your feet. Act, act 
activation, root chakra. So spirit is saying, uh, someone here, you got someone here needs to get out in nature and ground. It's so much good benefits from grounding. You feel you get more connected uh, with Mother Earth. You activate your root chakra. So someone here uh, needs to work on their root chakra. The root chakra is red. It's all about feeling grounded. It's all about stability. It's all about, uh, yeah, being grounded and being stable. The root, like being connected. That's why Spirit is saying, ground your feet and activate your root chakra. And Spirit is saying, read. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, you guys, some of you guys may be on your spiritual journey. Uh, Spirit is saying, do some research about star seeds. Because I'm talking to a star seed here. If you don't really know what a star seed is, uh, utilize Google. Read, research, research on light beams, research on chakras, research on ancient, ancient Egyptian knowledge, wisdom, research on spirit guides. If you're on your spiritual path, it's, it's a very, very important that you research and you read. And at the bottom, we have complete what you started. So yes, that's why Spirit is saying it's important for you to plan your week because someone here, someone here has started a project. Someone here has started a small business. Someone here does hair. Someone here does nails. Someone here uh, does artwork. Someone here is a teacher. Someone here does tarot. Spirit is saying, complete what you start, what you started, because you are needed. If you're a star seed here in this world, your gifts are needed. That's why you shine so brightly. That's why Spirit said, don't dim your light. You shining for a reason. You are put here for a reason. Spirit said they ain't got nothing on you. They ain't got nothing on you. If they meant it, they said it. And they probably said it because they ain't got nothing on you. Period. Okay. And Spirit also said, save your home. Save your home. It, you could have had company. Somebody had a party or a get together. Somebody uh, had some friends over. Spirit is saying, save your home. And when pe before people come and when people leave your home, save your home. Get all. Uh, it could be people could come into your home unknowingly with different spirits attached to them. So Spirit is saying, save your home. And I just got a message too. Spirit is saying, yeah, if they, if they said it, they meant it. They said it because they ain't got nothing on you. And they also said it because you're pretty and popping. Somebody out here, you out here, sorry, y'all, you out here on your shit. You out here doing what you need to do. That's why Spirit says stay committed. Stay committed. You're a star seed. That's why, that's why they hate it, because you're a star seed, you pretty, you popping, you on your spiritual path, on your journey, um, you working on, on things, you got things that you need to complete, so you don't have time for any fuck shit, you don't have time for uh, negative people, people that's trying to uh, bring their negative toxic energy to you. Sage that shit out your life. Cut them people off. Cut that toxicity off. You don't need that. And Spirit also said, believe in the impossible. Anything is possible. And that's why Spirit wants you to do research on manifest manifesting. Do research on the, the star seed that you are. Do research on spirits. So you can get more connected with your spirit guides. I don't know who needed to hear that. But yes, that's a, the, the overall message is <clears throat> the overall message to me is complete what you start, plan your week, be productive, push your priorities and your goals first, be productive in your life, be productive, stay strong and stay committed, stay grounded, activate your root chakra. And never dim your light for nobody. Keep shining brightly, whether they like it or not. It's not for them to like. It's for you to shine. Period. Okay. 
I like that message, y'all. We finna uh get we gonna get a chakra wisdom card, the chakra wisdom message. We're gonna get a message a message and to see what chakra spirit wants you to pay attention to. We spirit spirit already said activate ground your root chakra. So we know that's one. Spirit, uh, what's the uh, chakra wisdom message for the collective for Motivational Monday? What's the, thank you. Wow, that's, wow, you guys. How I knew, it's like, I knew this was fair to come. The base chakra, the root chakra, root chakra. Oh my God. So yes, so you guys here you need to work on your stability. Work on your, uh, the first chakra, your root chakra. Let's read the message. It say responsibility. I plant myself on solid ground by consistently taking responsibility and having personal accountability for all that I do. I allow others to depend on me being responsible. My actions speak louder than my words. I rise above excess and overindulgence as I forgive myself for my past indiscretions. I know I cannot have acted in a more evolved way than I was able at the time. Yes. So uh, Spirit is saying ground yourself, uh, plant yourself. It could have been some things you went through in the past Spirit is saying forgive yourself for that. But overall, yes, responsibility. Take responsibility for your own actions. I feel like somebody here already have been doing that. Continue to take responsibility and accountability for your actions and forgive yourself for all the things that you have been through. Become one, become grounded and stable with Mother Earth because Mother Earth got you. She's not going to let you, she's not going to let you let you slip and fall. But once you become grounded and you become stable and planted and you become one with nature, you you never have to worry about stability. You're always gonna be stable. I rise above excess and overindulgence. I forgive myself for my past, yes. Whatever it was you went through, forgive yourself. That's the overall message of this root card. Take responsibility of your actions and forgive everything that you have went through. It happens to the best of us, you guys. We all go through things, but we go through shit for us to learn, from us to break through, break free, to, uh, tell, to help other people, To because uh, we have a testimony. Whatever it is you went through, that's your testimony, period. So always remember that and stay committed. Always remember you are worthy. You are priceless you are beautiful you are unique and you deserve everything you deserve happiness you deserve abundance you deserve to live the life that you want to live okay i hope you guys enjoyed that uh this monday motivational message and like i said everything you need to know about me is in the description don't forget to uh like comment and subscribe and be looking out for more content from me Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. Bye. Love y'all.